Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring the topic of the SNAP Food Steps Max benefits for the month of April and May. We actually have one state that has been approved for the May benefits, and as always, I bring you the payout date information. I'll also be providing you with the payout date information for the 38 states that have been approved to provide the April SNAP Max benefits. Now, for my friends in the city of Chicago, this city has finally launched its own guaranteed income program, providing up to $500 dollars per month for those families that are selected so same as always you guys make sure you stay until the end of this video and then I'll also be providing you with the list of states that have approved stimulus checks remember guys that I've mentioned in some of my previous videos where there's a couple of states that have a surplus in their budget so this list is not necessarily for those that have proposals but actually where the governor has signed off on the bill to issue another stimulus check so make sure you guys stay until the end of this video to to ensure that you receive this information. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credits, SNAP, PEBT, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. And don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channel called Linda Savings. If you're interested in knowing about the latest sales, discounts, and how to save your money while shopping at some of your favorite stores like Costco, Walmart, Target, Aldi, and many other stores, then this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Link to the channel will be in the video description. And as always, thank you guys so much for your support. And also guys, don't forget to take advantage of these offers. Let's start with the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. You can also receive $10 once you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code that is on this screen. And now for those of you that want to maximize your rewards, you can use a second app like Fetch Rewards to upload that same receipt you just uploaded to the Ibotta app. Fetch is actually super easy to use as it will give you points for uploading any type of receipt. You'll even get an additional 2,000 points just for signing up with this referral code. And finally, don't forget that you can shop for your groceries on Amazon with your EBT or your PEBT card. The good news is that this one is completely free. No membership is required. And now for those of you guys that want to try out Amazon Prime to purchase other things, you can try it out completely free for 30 days. Just go ahead and click that link in the video description. So guys, the city of Chicago is actually starting to accept applications this month if you're interested in applying in the Guaranteed Income Program. So Chicago residents can start applying for the city's $500 per month basic income pilot program in less than two weeks. The cash assistance program will start accepting applications from 9 a.m. on the day of April 25th all the way through May 13th at exactly 11.59 p.m. It's the cutoff time. So 5,000 families will be chosen by lottery in the month of May. And then each family that is selected will get $500 a month for an entire year. So here's the eligibility criteria, you guys, for those that are interested in applying. So one of them is that residents must live in the city of Chicago. You must be 18 years or older. You must have experienced economic hardship related to COVID-19 or to the pandemic, have a household income at or below 250% of the federal poverty line. So for example, if you have a household of three, your income limit would be at $57,575. Now, only one person from each household can apply for this program. All residents can apply regardless of their immigration status. Application assistance will be available in person for those that wish to apply in person, and then online with chat support and through a phone hotline in multiple languages starting on April 25th. So to learn more and sign up for application process updates, including future in-person and virtual application assistance events, you can visit the following website, you guys, and make sure you write this down it is chicago.gov forward slash cash pilot so next let me show you what the website looks like and where you can find certain information that you may possibly need in order to apply so once again guys once you click on the website you can see here it says chicago resilient communities pilot 
it says applications open on Monday, April 25th. And we, if we go ahead and scroll down here, it even gives you the option to sign up for updates. I'm sure it's gonna ask you for things like your email and it's probably gonna alert you once those applications are open or pretty much when they start accepting those applications, right? Now, if you're interested in knowing about the income eligibility requirements, this is where you would go. It says here, eligibility and frequently asked questions here at the top. Let's go ahead and click that and it tells you here who will be eligible for the Chicago Resilient Communities Pilot. It gives you the exact same information I just provided you guys with. And then one thing that I do like about this one, if you're wondering if whether or not you qualify based on your income for your household. So this is exactly where you can put in the amount of people that you live with, including yourself. So for example, let's say if your household size is only of two people, then the highest eligible household income is $45,775. I'll go ahead and play around here a little bit with these numbers. That's for three people right there, 57,000 for four, 69 and even for one thirty three thousand nine hundred and seventy five dollars and then down here on this part of the website you can see some of the frequently asked questions that you can go ahead and look through yourself i'll be putting the link to this application or to this web page in the part of the video description Next, we have a list of states that are sending stimulus checks. So starting off with Delaware, that has approved a check of anywhere between $300 to $600 for residents starting in June. For those that are non-filers, you may need to apply to receive this payment. Now moving on to Indiana. Indiana will send anywhere between $125 to $250 starting next month for residents after filing their 2021 taxes. Moving on to New Mexico. New Mexico will send payments of anywhere between between $500 to $1,000 starting in July for low income residents. Non-filers need to apply to receive these payments as well. Moving on to Georgia, Georgia has approved anywhere between $250 to $500 for residents who filed their 2021 taxes. They say that the checks will arrive in six to eight weeks. Now for my friends in the state of Michigan, Michigan will be sending out $400 for residents who have a vehicle registered in the state by October 31st of the year 2021. Now guys, here's a designated um, timeline by May 9th, that's the due date, I'm sorry. So if you haven't received your check of $400 and you have a vehicle that is registered by the state, then you must contact your insurance company in order for you to gather more information regarding why you haven't received your payment. Oregon will be sending $600 in June to residents who have worked during the pandemic and did not claim unemployment benefits in the year 2020. Massachusetts will also be sending $500 to low-income residents who filed their taxes in the year 2020 and didn't claim unemployment benefits. And now moving on to the SNAP emergency allotments, beginning with the month of May. So for May, we have North Carolina that has been approved. And these are the estimated payout dates, you guys. So from May 22nd all the way through May 31st. So remember, guys, that more states continue to be added every week. And as always, I'll continue to keep you updated for the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of May. And now moving on to the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of April. There's 38 states that have been approved, including Alabama from April 29th all the way through April 30th, Alaska April 13th through April 30th, Arizona April 1st through April 14th, California May 14th or May 21st, Colorado April 6th all the way through April 11th, Connecticut April 14th, Delaware April 27th, DC's on a regular issue and schedule, Georgia April 27th, all the way through April 30th, Hawaii, May 11th, Illinois, anywhere between April 21st all the way through April 29th. Next, we have Indiana that will be depositing payment only on the odd days, anywhere between April 5th all the way through April 23rd, Kentucky, April 2nd through April 19th, Louisiana, April 2nd, April 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, or the 30th, Maine, April 8th, Massachusetts, May 3rd, Maryland, anywhere between April 1st through April 30th, Michigan, April 16th through April 25th, Minnesota, May 10th through May 31st, New Hampshire, April 3rd, April 15th, May 3rd, or May 20th, New Jersey, April 1st through April 5th, and New Mexico, April 1st through April 30th. 
And then moving on to New York, specifically for those in New York City, April 15th through April 29th. And for the rest of the state, April 11th through the 21st. North Carolina, April 22nd through May 1st. Ohio, April 27th. Oregon will be depositing payment in three rounds. So round one, April 11th. Round two, April 28th. And round three on May 2nd. Oklahoma, April 10th through April 15th. Pennsylvania, April 16th through April 29th. Rhode Island, April 3rd. South Carolina, April 1st through April 19th. Texas is also on this list, April 4th through April 8th. Utah, April 24th. And Vermont, May 13th. Next, we have Virginia depositing payments on April 16th, Washington, April 2nd, all the way through April 20th, West Virginia, April 5th, and a final run on May 10th, Wisconsin, April 23rd. Wyoming will be depositing payment based on the first letter of your last name, so A through D, April 2nd, E through K, April 3rd, L through R, April 4th, and S through Z, April 5th. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification bell button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.